Welcome back. It's Annie. In today's episode, we're talking about being a magnet, being a magnet for everything that is in your life from all of the joy and happiness to all of the negative things and negative people and energy. We're a magnet for all of it. And sometimes we don't want to accept that. And sometimes we are excited to accept that depending on what it is. I'm going to give you four tips that have really helped me in embracing the fact that I am a magnet for everything in my life. Here we go. And if you love this episode, make sure you go over to my website at AnniePagaro.com and sign up for Magnetize Week, which is happening starting January 3rd. As of this recording, it's almost Christmas, and we are about to hop into a new year, 2022, for um, the week, the first week of January, January 9th, I have Magnetize Week coming up for you. Make sure you sign up for that. It's free over on my website. Are you as obsessed with the ocean as I am? I want to encourage you to hop over to marybreshik.com. That's M-A-R-Y-B-R-E-S-H-I-K-E.com. She's an artist living on Okinawa who is a personal friend of mine and also a client of my Profit Warrior Planted program. She creates some of the most beautiful ocean-inspired art I have ever seen. She's got a really beautiful seahorse and turtle collection, um, some prints and some originals and handcrafted jewelry over on her website. And we invite you to enjoy 20% off when you use the code Annie20 over on Mary Brushick's website. You're going to absolutely love her art. So hop right on over there after you listen to this episode. Also, she has Christmas ornaments and a calendar for um, its Okinawa inspired calendar for 2022. I have one right now, a 2021 calendar on my refrigerator. And it's, it's just so cool to, to see her art every single month, ocean inspired and Okinawa inspired art. So marybreshik.com and use the code Annie20. And as always, leave us a review over on Apple Podcasts. Your five-star review, if that's the way that you feel, of course, and written review really means the world to this podcast, to me, to my family. So um, if this is meaningful for you, valuable as I'm sure it will, as it always is, hop on over to Apple Podcasts and leave a, a written review for me. This podcast is for ambitious women who want to ignite your soul and create impact and abundance through adventure. I'm your host of the Adventures Podcast. I'm Annie Pagaro. For the past 11 years, I've been serving women in the online space, helping them overcome self-doubt and limiting beliefs and just get out of your own head. In 2017, I overcame my own obstacles when I went live on Facebook asking for help in finding my birth family. It was in that moment I decided to let go of unworthiness, self-doubt, and shame. I knew I needed to break that cycle. And that's what I want for you. That's what I'm here to share in this podcast because my life was forever changed. I'm a former personal trainer and law enforcement officer, and I'm currently trained in neuro-linguistic programming and hypnosis. My clients are enjoying entrepreneurial success through my group coaching program called Soul School. I'm a mom of girls and military spouse. We've lived in Japan twice, and I've been able to move my business globally four times across the planet. And it continues to be a beautiful adventure. I'm here to help you create abundance and joy through ultimate action and spend less time in self-doubt. Here we go. The Adventures with Annie Pagaro podcast. We've got a new year coming, 2022. Really excited about that. I love change. I welcome transition. I think it's so cool. It's a time to reinvent yourself. I feel like I'm the queen of reinvention since... Um, you know, 11 years ago, I resigned from my job and re completely reinvented myself when I became a military spouse and started my business from scratch and just always thought that I would be in law enforcement. And here I am, um, life coaching women. So um, really recognizing that I was a magnet for everything that was going on in my life was at first a really tough pill to swallow because there was a lot of crap, like a lot of negative energy, a lot of um, unfortunate circumstances. You know, my gosh, they used to call me Angry Annie when I was a park ranger. 
And I couldn't understand why. I'm like, I'm so happy. Like, I am just exuding joy. No, I was <laughs> disgruntled. And I didn't even, I didn't even realize it because I was so hyper-focused on other things. And that, that situation, right, recognizing that I was projecting exactly what was in my brain, I was projecting out into the world. So I like to think of our brains as like a movie. And we're playing this movie in our head over and over, the stories that we're telling ourselves, the circumstances that we're taking in and interpreting through our lens, through our vision. And then that that we are thinking in our brains is then projected out. So the movie is then playing out in our lives. And, you know, you might remember that saying, and maybe you use it today, that bad things come in threes, right? Like, oh, there's one bad thing, two more are coming, or, oh, two bad things just happened. Um, I'm going to be expecting one more because bad things always come in threes. So when we're, when you are expecting something not awesome to happen in your life, when you are holding on to that energy of waiting for the next shoe to drop or waiting for that, you know, next bad thing to happen, you are projecting that energy because all we are is energy. All we are is energy. All we are are energetic beings. So when you when you hold on to that negative energy in your life, of course, negative energy is going to come back to you. Now, as I'm talking about this, like I recognize that there is definitely the like I'm fine, I'm okay movement going on in the world right now, and that that's definitely not what I'm talking about here. I remember I was part of a, a, a program. And oh my, it was, it was pricey. I think it was, um, I think I invested $900 a month in this program. And so before, I, of course, I didn't know that this was the mindset of the coaches in the program, but the, the focus was you are where your attention is. So if you're giving your attention to something negative in your life, just shift your attention and your life will, your life will change. You'll be presented with, um, opportunities that you desire and you'll have a feeling of joy. Well, what? Like that is just embracing the I'm fine, like push the feelings down, pretend they don't exist. Um, culture even, cause I, f- I really feel like it's a culture and way of living that just c- will have, um, traumatic feelings and negative energy and blocks to your healing continue. Okay. So when you're pushing down the, the feelings or the, the energy that doesn't feel joyful or sadness or depression, and you're just saying, well, I'll just shift my attention. I'll just think about something else. I won't think about this, um, situation, or I won't think about these feelings. I'll just shift my attention All you're doing is pushing down the feelings. You're burying them. You're not giving them the the attention, really, that they need in order for you to learn from the experience, to grow from the experience, to become an enlightened being, and to to grow as a person. So, all right, what is the point, right? Like, what what do you do when you are having um, a shitty day, or you know your feelings are Um, you're in a, you're in a depression, right? You're like really feeling super low. Um, what do you do? Well, the, the tips that I have for you today are things that I have done myself and I've coached my clients through, through these four things. And what we've seen is a significant shift in energy, um, and just allowing that energy to move through your body. So the very first thing that I'm going to recommend that you do is to really allow, to really allow. That's step number one is to allow. When you are feeling down, right? Tired, depressed, anxious, just allow yourself to have those feelings. Getting curious. This is something that I talk about a lot, like really getting curious about these, the energy that is coming up for you and recognizing maybe it's not the lens that you're looking at right now, maybe you're viewing it through 
your lens as a child or an adolescent, or maybe an experience in your life is triggering something and bringing back a memory that has been traumatic for you. And remember that trauma is not doesn't have to be an act. Like it doesn't have to be something that happened to you. It can be feelings. It can be emotions. It can be triggering a traumatic response or um, a, an emotion within you attached to a situation or a perceived situation in your life. So just allowing that feeling to come through and really embracing it. I've said before, like just sitting in the shit, like literally just sitting in it and not forcing yourself to do all of the things. Like life doesn't stop, right? Like you still have to you still have to feed people. You still have to do laundry, but really recognizing that you are in a place that that deserves your attention and deserves your energy. Now, when I say this, that doesn't mean that when you are you are sitting in it, you're going to attract more of it. Okay, allowing yourself to sit in it will then allow the emotions to move through you, and then the next time something comes up, it's going to sting a whole heck of a lot less. Okay. So allowing yourself to move through your emotions is step number one. Step number two is 100% fully surrendering. So recognizing the emotions, that's step number one, and allow, allow them to come to come through for you. And then number two is surrender to it. Recognize you're not 100% in the driver's seat, right? Like, you are going to go through these emotions. You're going to allow the tears to flow and allow yourself to sit on the couch and watch Netflix. Allow yourself to sleep in. Allow yourself to feel. Um, and then surrendering to it and just saying, okay, I, I'm receiving this. I know that I am a magnet for all of the beauty and all of the joy in my life and all that's to come. And right now I'm feeling pretty low and I know that I have to surrender to these emotions to allow myself to come out the other side. Step number three is to dream, dream. So who's heard about this? Like let's write realistic goals and visions for 2022. What I am asking you to do is 100% the opposite. Like nothing realistic, nothing appropriate, nothing within reach. Like I want these dreams. I want you to really allow yourself to feel into your vision for your life. Whether this is the way that you want your family to look and feel. When I say look, I mean like through your lens, through your eyes, through your children's eyes, like what you want your family to feel like, whether that's like you are going on a vacation, a family vacation every six months that you pay cash for 100%. And you're thinking of when you're on that um, beach with your family, you're sipping your beverage of choice, you've got your toes in the sand and you just feel amazing. Okay. And I really, really want you to get into those feelings and dream, write it down. I love writing it down. I also love using my notes app because I feel like it's so convenient. And then from my notes app, I'll write it down because I really feel like there is so much power and like what comes from your hand, like actually writing the thing down in pen and paper. So allowing yourself to dream and getting into those feelings, recognizing that it's not so much like the thing, like you know, the $500,000 that you want to see in your bank account um, from the new offers that you have in your business. It's not so much the, the item, but it is more the feeling that is attached to the goal, to the vision. So, and you don't have to actually have that $500,000 in your bank account right now. You can very much have the feeling. You can bring on that feeling of accomplishment, of peace, of security. That feeling of security, you can bring it on at any time. So when I'm asking you to dream for step number three of being a magnet, really getting into the feeling that your vision is already accomplished. Now, um, I know that you've probably heard like, 
act as if it's already happened or um, fake it till you make it, that kind of thing. And that's not this at all. So that can be very confusing. Like you're almost like pretending, right? This is an actual feeling. You like you are physically bringing on the feelings of like what I just said, like accomplishment and um, security because money is is a security. It's feeling safe, feeling secure, feeling taken care of. And that's the the feeling to bring up when you're thinking of your vision coming true. Okay, and then step number four is to release perfection. Releasing that this is how it is supposed to happen. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is how I'm supposed to get there. All of those things. Or maybe you're like, I just don't know how. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know how. None of that is your business. None of that is your concern. All you are required to do is be the energy that embodies the feeling. And you might be like, what? Yes, 100%. That's how you can get into that magnetic state. That's how you can get into that feeling of I am a magnet and I am attracting everything that's coming to me and really taking ownership and saying, okay, let me take a look. Let me take a look at my life and see what I am being, who I am being that is that may be attracting some of these things that I don't want in my life and really getting to the core of that by allowing, surrendering, dreaming, and releasing perfection. It's not your responsibility to figure out how it's going to happen, but it is your responsibility to control what you can, which is your your own energetic state. So, um, and I've got some help for you. If you're like, okay, this sounds great, but I'm not really sure how I'm, how I'm going to get into this. Like, how can I, I can do it like right now, but what about like, over time. So Magnetize Week is coming up for you on January 3rd. And if you're listening to this after the fact, of course, I'll have some recordings for you. So just go on over to AnniePagaro.com, sign up for Magnetize Week. It's happening January 3rd. If you're listening to this in real time, if you're listening to this after January 3rd or after Magnetize Week has already happened, pop over to AnniePagaro.com and I'll have some freebies for you, some, some free downloads that, that are going to help you to get into that magnetic state, to really manifest your deepest desires, the, the, the feelings that you want in your life and recognizing it's not your responsibility how it gets there, but it is your responsibility to be the owner of your energy and you, you have what it takes to, to shift your energy and shifting your energy doesn't mean pushing down the shit. Okay. It doesn't mean pushing down the negatives. What it means is recognizing it, feeling it, learning from it, and then moving on. And those things are always going to come up. I mean, trust me, it always comes up. Things always come up for me, but I know now that it's just a normal part of life, right? It's just a normal part of being human. Uh, It's just a normal part of the human experience. And the more we can really get into our feelings and really understand, um, you know, the, the situation that, that may be triggering us to go back into a place where we've felt that, that emotion before. I mean, it's just, wow. I mean, so many shifts have happened for me when I realize that, you know, if I'm triggered by a situation or a person or like something that somebody says, it literally has nothing to do with where I am right now. Like, on the earthly plane in this exact moment. It's usually something that happened when I was a kid or an adolescent or a previous relationship where like a boyfriend was talked condescending to me. Oh, like that is one of the things that like just makes my blood boil like this, like a condescending speak. And I recognize that it's not, probably wasn't even that boyfriend. It was probably like my dad, you know, like, or one of my parents or a family member, you know, like, so getting into recognizing that we hold that energy throughout our whole entire lives. Instead of beating ourselves up about feeling bad, asking yourself questions and embodying the negative, right? So that, so that you can, you can heal and you can move forward. And also this, this is a big thing too. Like 
everybody's on a healing journey, right? Like we're all on a different degree of, of healing. Like some of us are beginning our journey of recognizing that, that we're, we're healing and that we're, we're moving through our emotions in our life. And some of us have dealt with, with, um, events and emotions and situations over and over. So we might be, I don't want to say further along, but yeah, I mean, further along on your healing journey and wherever you're at, it's okay. Like you got to start somewhere, right? So in order to really learn from an experience, like whatever it is, negative, positive, anything, really getting into the emotions and allowing yourself to feel and ask questions about it is, is going to bring you into a state of acceptance, a state of acceptance and a a more positive and enlightened and joyful state in your life, in your everyday life, right? So if you are people pleaser, if you're like, oh, I just, I want to create something that people really enjoy, or I want to do something that my husband is really going to like, or I need to do this for my kids because I want them to like it. I want you to really ask yourself, what brings you joy? Okay. Like it's great that other people are enjoying it, but what brings you joy to do and to be? And then looking back on your life and really going into the body of the human that you were, like the size the human that you were when you first felt that you needed to please. And usually it's a parent, you know, I mean, everybody was doing, just doing the best that they could. And usually, you know, you're, you were trying to please a parent. And if you didn't please that parent, what happened? Was there an explosion? Was there yelling? Was there you know, maybe you took on a feeling of not good enough. Maybe you weren't praised as a child. Maybe they were always like pushing you to, to accomplish more, to be better. And it just felt like they were never happy with what you were accomplishing. So recognize that maybe that need to please that you are having right now is has nothing to do with the the person that you may be feeling resentful that you have to please or feeling resenting yourself and your own actions and maybe it has a lot to do with um a pleasing um duty right like when you were a kid when you were a child when you were an adolescent so and recognizing that it's okay my gosh like it's okay it doesn't have to be what you embody right now and setting some boundaries which is that is going to be what we talk about next week here in the podcast but really setting some boundaries around your time your energy your emotion but most importantly you guys time and energy really setting those boundaries around so that you can be that magnet that attracts what you desire in your life instead of continuing to be the magnet that attracts what you don't want. If you want to stop that cycle, these four steps that I have for for you today of allowing, surrendering, dreaming, and releasing perfection are the key to getting into that magnetic state that is going to bring your desire into your life. So this was fun. I love talking about this. this. is like one of my favorite things to talk about. I could talk about it forever. So next week I'm going to have a similar episode and that is going to be holding your energy through the holiday season. Like so needed. Yes, please give me more of this. Um, and remember that you can always go on over to AnniePagaro.com and receive any of my free downloads that are really going to help you to really becoming the, the magnet for all that you desire instead of continuing to be a magnet for, ne- for negative energy, but also recognizing that when you are experiencing a circumstance in your life that is not exactly what you desire, you are in control of your response. You are in control of the way that you feel, the things that you do, and you know, the actions that you take afterwards. So thank you so much for listening to this episode. I really enjoyed creating it for you. Um, remember, Magnetize Week is January 3rd, and you could sign up for that 
on my website. I'll talk to you soon. A huge thank you to our show sponsor, Mary Breshek, artist on Okinawa with the most beautiful ocean-inspired art. If you have some Christmas gifts that you still need to purchase, hop over to marybreshek.com and use the code Annie20 or gifts for yourself. I love buying jewelry for myself. I love to buy ocean-inspired jewelry for myself. I do. And you'll find some beautiful jewelry, um, handmade ocean-inspired jewelry at marybreshik.com. You can use the code Annie20 for 20% off. Thanks so much for listening. And I'll talk to you next week. I've got a great episode for you about um, getting through Christmas week while keeping your vibe high. Go on over to AnniePaguero.com and sign up for my free downloads and my free Magnetize Week, which is coming January 3rd. I've got some great downloads for you, some meditations, and some things to help you to really become that magnet and manifest your true desires. And if you are an entrepreneur or a wannabe entrepreneur, you have a business idea that you want to get started Soul School is open for enrollment right now, and I'm particularly talking to yoga teachers, energy workers, Reiki Reiki practitioners, and wellness professionals. So if that is you, make sure to go over to AnniePaguero.com and check out Soul School, which is enrolling right now. It's 14 weeks of building your business or taking your current business to the next level. My um, one client who recently went through the program has increased her revenue by five times. I mean, you guys, five times. And she's taken her one-on-one Reiki business to a one-to-many in the online space. So it's really beautiful to see that vision come true for her as I know it will come true for you. It's called Soul School Sisters Over Limits. It's SOL Soul School. And it's open for enrollment right now at AnniePaguero.com. Talk to you next week.
classes and Mary would come over to Erica's house for essential oils classes and to just hang out. So it's just really beautiful to have both of these ladies on this episode together. If you go over to marybreshik.com, M-A-R-Y-B-R-E-S-H-I-K-E.com, you can use the code Annie 20 for 20% off in Mary's shop with all of her beautiful art, Christmas ornaments, 2022 Okinawa calendar, and jewelry. That's over at marybreshik.com. Thanks for listening to this episode, and I'll talk to you next week.